welcome to Imperion. This is episode 7 in our series 2 playthrough. Uh, as always, if you haven't already done so already, please do take the opportunity to watch previous episodes so you have a better understanding of what's going on in this one. But just in case you don't, just a quick recap. In the previous episode, I was getting a little bit nervous about our basically our very small collection of Promethium. It seemed that from harvesting several deposits on the planet we weren't getting very much and that was really causing me some concerns with in regards to our future expansion. Now I'd been using quite a lot of plant fibres to make biofuel in order to keep our base running but obviously the more potent fuel is the Promethium but with that being quite scarce on the planet I was getting very concerned with the fact that very little amount of Promethium we'd been able to gather up to this point was not going to last us in the long term. To remedy this problem I decided to take our current SV that we're currently seated in, take it into space the initial idea was to go to the moon to see if there was any deposits on the moon. However, when we got into space, we had a quick look around and we actually found a very large Promethium asteroid. Now, between the previous episode and this episode, I've actually been into space and I've harvested quite a lot of Promethium from that asteroid. And to be honest, there's still plenty more to get. Now, I've got, at the minute, about 600 Promethium in the base, in the cargo containers, so I'm pretty certain we should be alright for the medium term, in terms of power. The base has just been attacked by yet another Xerox um, patrol, there was three drones in that, we managed to defeat that quite easily. Now, I do have some ambitions to kind of expand away from this planet but in order to do that I'm going to have to build a couple more ships and fortunately the ship we've got at the minute is just not up to the up to the um, up to the task. Now I've got a blueprint that I'm looking to use but unfortunately in order to build that blueprint I do need titanium. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to return to space and we're going to try and go to the moon to see if we can actually get some um, some titanium from the moon. So let's do that straight away. I'm pretty certain there's no titanium asteroids in orbit, but we can check. Let's turn the auto brake off and just glide. So let's have a quick look. So, no. Uh, there's a cobalt asteroid, there's a Promethium asteroid. The Promethium asteroid is this one over here. Oh, great. The moon's actually on the opposite side of the planet to where we are. again so we can just glide over. Now uh, we also in the previous episode discovered a couple of things in space so we took out a couple of drones we also discovered um, a distillery in space which I'm not entirely sure what that's for there's quite a lot going on in space uh, we've also discovered a couple of um, Polaris freighters flying about. So it don't look like, at least for now, there's much in the way of Xerax. There is a Xerax repair station. 
but that's about it. But once we get some titanium and I can build this new ship, we should be able to actually comfortably explore the kind of orbit area a bit better. Oh, we're stuttering quite a bit there. Alright, let's just run. Oh, to change the sound. Oh, that's an open, guys. This episode will is currently being recorded after the release of Phase 5. I actually initially started recording the episode. And I didn't realise that it actually moved up to Phase 5 until I looked in the top left-hand corner and saw the uh, version number. So, I've actually kind of closed the game down, stopped recording, had a quick look at the patch notes, and then come back and started re-recording. So, yes, there are some changes in the game, like that sound, for example. Obviously, that's different to what we had before. There's a couple other changes as well. Okay, we need to start heading down. This is a bit of polar region as well. God, that was really strange. But someone carved the top of the plane off. I'm gonna hit break. Oh! Okay, so there's a lot of contacts already. Let's have a quick look. There's a cannon drone right below us. And it's a few pentags. Four titanium, yes. So I'm going to guess anywhere there's a drone, this is most likely going to be. Yep, titanium dry. Oh, that is just magical. Let's take it down. down, drone down. Let's come down slowly. That was pure luck. That was pure luck. We managed to find titanium that quickly. Leave the ship running because we do have enough power at the minute. I've also put oxygen in it to keep us alive. And not the bad radiation. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we'll have that. So, hand scar. Titanium deposits about 100 metres away. Yeah, we're not going to walk over there, so no point. Let's um, fly over. This is about. Is it? Let's say. Oh, I'll just keep it. Drop this into the trash that into the ship. Come on, get 
pick that up. Or have we got any? Yeah, drop more in. Uh, gotta be careful, don't trap myself in there. be able to jump out of here quite easily given the fact that uh, there's virtually no glass here. Get, come on then. That should be all of it gone. Yep, that's all of it gone. Let's get rid of the stone, we don't want that. There we go. I'm gonna fill this hole in like always, make sure no one falls on it. And by no one I mean me. Gotta think of those small children. Yeah, I'm not even gonna flatten that, that's fine. Okay, what else is there? Okay. So that was the first one. So we've gotta look for the ones for the drones, so that's direct to our south. That's, that's a rocket phone, why not use that one? To get a bit higher. Run the scanner again, see if I can ID it from here. Come on, come on, come on. That's cobalt, we don't care about that one. Let's go up to this. Okay, what, what's that? Is that the Titan? Crash Titan, yeah. But we don't care about the Titan either. Brief. It might be that one. Just a bit deeper. This is really disorientating. Some pentax. Some magnesium. I don't care about that one either. Got this one. Got a shift in it. Tanks again. Okay, there's a lot of drones there for some reason. Are you on patrol? Capital ship. Might be looking to get um, a Nord titanium deposit. Oh, I've got a feeling this has got to be titanium just there. That? 
bitchy, what the hell was that sound? And I want a drone, surely. Another one, we've got two right next to each other. That was lucky. How close are those drones? Not close enough for me to be concerned by. Right, so we're going to land. Level up. Bit down. Okay, a bit bumpy landing. Lever run it. This is a very small deposit. Get rid of the rock again. It's a lot of rock. That'll do. That's nice and filled. Flat enough. So I'm curious about these rocks for a second. Any of them? This rock. That's interesting. 
so I didn't get any contacts out of that. Surface rocks. I'm up to level 12 as well. I didn't even see that notification come through. See on the moon over there. Point five. I wonder if I can jump like a Olympic high jump off. I want to go and have a look. The problem is we need the titanium more than we need that at the minute, so we're just gonna get out the atmosphere or get off the moon precisely. Go. Now we can glide back to the planet. That does look a bit bizarre. Uh, there's the planet, and we want to go sort of in that general direction. Come on. So let's have a quick review. It's still drifting quite far. So, we don't need the, the rock, but we'll throw it in the inventory once we get back, it's not a problem. So, 106 there, how much have we got in our... That's 200 and 250. That's 270 in total. That's not bad. That'll do us. Got a few more bits of loot as well. Let's have a quick look on the ship. Uh, I'm actually going to take the power we looted from the wrecks. Right there. there we go. Put it to good use. Now, the one thing I haven't noticed that we saw in C. Ooh, better watch out for that asteroid. It's getting a bit close. Right, the one thing I haven't seen so far is the shipwrecks in orbit. There's Polaris. That's a train station. It's a distillery. That's a Xerox. Space brakes now. Things got a bit gaga. There we go. Coming in quite fast. Did have a dinosaur from walking around at the top here with me earlier. There he is. My pet dinosaur. Oh, he's just vanished. There is. So yeah, for some reason he, he decided he, he was going to walk to the top of the, the plateau and he's kind of joined us on top. So I might actually build a fence around him and keep him as a pet. 
Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. Let's actually build a farm. A farm of uh, T Rex wannabes. There we go. And we're going to switch over to the manor. Just one, two, three. Uh, keep that. Sniper rounds, don't use sniper rounds. Go to the piranha and get that in. Then it's That's awesome. There we go. So I'm not entirely sure what this will give us actually. Let's just have a look. So it should be 270, I said. 270 titanium ore, and that's two deposits completely emptied. Not good. Let's have a look. So, how much? This is some kind of special manufacturing involved with the titanium. No, it's standard. So, five ore gets you. So that'll double it basically. So that will be 540, won't it? 540 rods. How many does it take to make a plate? Five rods. That's. Uh, plus, what? That's a two times multiplier, so that'll be one thousand one thousand eighty plates. Right, okay. Okay, so that makes the plate. So, what does that make? Two plates. So, that would make five blocks of hardened steel. All right, uh, it's not what we're looking for. What we're actually looking for at the minute is the building of other things. So I should be able to do the advanced constructor now. Yes, I can build an advanced constructor. But I need an existing constructor, don't I? Don't I? I've just changed the recipe so you don't need an existing. So we can do the upgrade straight on this one. Right, okay. Let's have a look at the upgrade. So, steel plates, yeah. Computer's not a problem. It's the energy matrices, cobalt alloy, and flux coils. Right, let's have a look. So the NG matrices are made out of what exactly? Oh. Oh, that's it there. So yeah, that's not a problem. The flux coils, we can now manufacture them. Oh, um, neodymium. Right, so let's so steel plates. Let's have a look. Do I have any steel plates? Are there safium plates? Yes, so we need five 
steel plates. So we'll get them first. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. Two computers, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's have a load of computers. That's one computer. <laughs> I need a second computer. No. Energy matrices, I think we need them as well. Power cores, it's flux coils. So it's ones. Flux coils. And so we need 10 flux coils. Okay, so we need two computers. So we'll just manufacture a computer. Gives us one. Done. Um, where did it put it? Okay, we need many energy matrices. Five of them, so we can put some back. That. We need ten of them, don't we? Let's manufacture them. Flux coils. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So we should have enough, I hope. Fingers crossed. Yeah, this is the neodymium I'm now concerned about. We've got lots of cobalt, so that's not a problem. Yeah, we're going to run out of neodymium to do this. Mm, capacity device. Not off. Cobalt alloy. So we've got flux coils, got the engine. It's just co no, we should be able to do it. Cobalt alloy now. I think we've got a load of that already prepared. Yes, five of that. So we need uh, four to five more. No pressure then. Cobalt alloy, so yeah, okay. How much that outputs? Five, so we need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so mixture of cobalt and iron. I just realised I've worked out titanium completely wrong, didn't I? Did I do it? No, because it doubles. No, I worked it out correctly, sorry. Yeah, I do have quite a bit of titanium now. Enough to get some of these more advanced features online, which is kind of what I'm trying to do. Uh, this up here. For looking 45, so that give me 50. So that should be everything. I should be able to upgrade that. So why are you saying I can't? That's interesting. But where have I been putting it? I've been putting it in there. Jesus. Uh, piranha, cargo bay, 
let's, let's get all that stuff over. There we go. There we go. Done it. So that's the advanced constructor. Good job. Right, we really needed that. Um, that's opened up a couple of possibilities for us. We need to have a look at the tech tree now. There's a few things. Oh, we could go for the CPU extender. What requires that flux coils? That's the only thing that's complicated in that design. So we're going to go for the CPU extender. Uh, let's have a look at the small SV. I need to unlock that because I know I'm using that. I need to unlock that. Oh god, yeah, I'm going to need to unlock that. Um, oh god, I go all the way up to medium, don't I? Unlock that. Is it two? One or two? Two. Unlock that. It's not armored cockpit. We do need ramps. We do need to shut the doors. We haven't got polar eyes. Oh, we haven't got. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out what my fighter uses. The one I'm planning on building. So that should be it. That should be everything it uses to actually get built. Oh, we could go tier two. Um, oh god, that's that's very tempting. Um, pulse rifle as well. Rocket launcher. Oh, Also got access to auto miners. We don't need auto miner. Bit pointless. What does that need? That needs the optotronic bridges. And you can only get them as loot. That's not a problem. Yeah, so I do think. Do you think we're ready to build the new fighter? So, the problem with that, in order to build a new fighter, I do need to salvage the old one. So we're going to have to say goodbye to the old piranha. So, it's been an honour, piranha, but um, unfortunately, you've kind of passed your sell-by date, and we desperately need the parts for a new ship. So let's link over to the manor and start. Do I save the design? Pretty certain I've saved the design. Let's have a look. I'm really wondering now, did I actually save it? Just going to save that design, make sure we've got a copy of it. So, Piranha, Piranha, Piranha. It don't look like I've got a copy of that. That's a problem. So, we're going to save. Where's it under Z? Okay, well, either way, we've got a copy of it now. And we're going to start harvesting the hell out of this craft. And we need to get all the fuel out, don't we? Uh, and the oxygen. So we need to take... stick fuel. We are going to lose a bit, unfortunately, to manage. Still quite a bit of oxygen in there. Oh well. That's sort of F4. I think that's gone across, hasn't it? 
Oh, we want to put fuel over. I did actually upgrade a lot of this to steam because uh, as you remember in the previous episodes this was actually originally built out of um, carbon substrate and while it was super mobile the problem was the slightest little knock and essentially I, I had to um, repair the blocks which just get obliterated and going up against some of the Zerac drones, they were just, you know, um, the, not the rocket ones, but the chain gun ones, I mean, they would just strafe me once, and I'd have half a dozen blocks missing, so, come on, so, upgrading it to steel, yes, added quite a bit of weight, but it also reduced the amount of repair work I was having to do after each fight. And I'm being very conservative with the repair tool, the motor tool, because I don't want to end up, end up uh, wasting its ammunition. As you can see, I have to reload already. Hopefully. Hopefully uh, the new fighter will be able to utilise a lot of these blocks to build itself. So I'll be dropping them directly into the blueprint. The thing is the blueprint is actually quite complicated and while it's um, quite, quite a low level design, it is a level 12 design uh, as it uses the um, medium type 2 jet engine so that's why I've had to wait till level 12 to be able to build it and it has a lot of internal system space so it was designed originally with a load of internal uh, systems which unfortunately I don't have the materials at the minute to build so I went into creative and modified the design quite extensively on the internals so originally it had both a shield generator and a warp drive, a Pentax um, tank, as well as two homing missile hard points. So to kind of help it out to get it into the game, I've stripped out a lot of those features. I've switched it down to just a rocket launcher times two chain gun, and I pulled out shields and the warp drive and pentax and replaced them with just normal fuel tanks and oxygen so it's a very long duration fighter now it can fly for a long time i think in creative i was looking at something like a 12 hour run time if it was just idling okay so we've got yeah we already had a load of stuff from previous dismantles so let's have a look. Uh, F2. It's called the Mako. And I'm just trying to remember it's the level 12. That's the one. Two factory. So we had some stuff in there from previous builds. So we needed titanium rods for certain. But that will come from the engines. So in theory, if I throw a lot of the engine components in, this should speed up the build. 
So let's think what went into it. I'll throw that in and then whatever's left, that should be what I need to put into it. So I'm going to put the cargo containers in there because I've got no use for them at the minute. I can repurpose these so I can throw them in. There you go, that's gone in as iron. Let's get F4 again. Um, got some cargo there. Oh, cargo there. Uh, fuel tank, we'll put that in. Definitely put the cockpit in. Docking pad, definitely put that in. I thought I had a couple of them, to be honest. Oh, definitely small generators. I had two of them in there. Fuel tanks, yes. Uh, RCSs, yes. Wireless one in there. Okay, let's go to design again. So, that's gone in. That's gone in. That's gone in. That's filled out a bit of the copper and the silicon. Same with that. That's helped with that. That's helped with that. That's helped with that. That's bringing the production time right down because it's pre made components. Let's go back to the. Uh, what else is there? Oh, yeah. Was there a light? No, there wasn't a light in the design. There is a detection. Medium engines, definitely. Uh, containers, yes. Yes. Uh, landing gear, yes. O2 station, definitely. O2 tanks, definitely. Oh yeah, loads small, small of them. Let's put them in. Let's go back to the to the warehouse. Uh, what else is that? Definitely putting small thrusters in there. Got loads of them. Um, put one of them in because there was only one in there. Extenders, yes. Um, trying to think now. What else went into it? Right, we'll put that in for now. So the cobalt, neodymium and titanium, I'm pretty certain I know what that's coming from. That'll be coming from the main engines. So steel now we don't want to put hardened steel in there for poor wireless in right we're just going to throw a load of junk in there just to try and get it done stuff I know I'm not going to use there's no point in putting that in because I know I'm not going to use that Definitely need to get copper in there. There we go. Right, let's try that. Now we're still short by a lot. Puzzles me slightly. Puzzles me quite a lot because I didn't think it actually had that much resource requirements. Okay, steel blocks, we'll put them in. Yeah, we're going to be throwing a lot of steel in there. This is 
so now this is the part where we just start frying everything in and hoping um, something kind of like really makes an impact on the production come on so that should still short by a lot what on earth did I put in there that's consuming all of this resource you're going to start throwing just random stuff in now I know that's got like titanium in it is that hardened or is it combat yeah we'll, we'll throw that in uh, steel plates yeah we'll throw that in nanotubes yeah we'll throw that in motors yeah we'll throw that in yeah we'll throw plastics in see what that does There, titanium's gone in. Wow, that's hardly made a difference. Um, mechanical parts, optotronics, passer, I don't know what that is. Computer parts. Um, yeah, we'll throw that in as well. Throw that in. Is that clone yet? Yeah. Um, armor locker. We'll just throw that. Alright, we'll try and throw that in. Can't throw that in. More carbon. It's absolutely insane. Oh, crap. We're under attack. Right. Okay. Oh, and no, I just destroyed the fighter. Yikes. This is going to be interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to defend the base without a fighter. Oh, my God. Yeah, and they're coming pretty fast from the north. So it's in a general direction. Where are they? So one place I've built a, a gun. There they are. That's a transport. Come on, mate. Come on. It's getting pretty close. Okay, that's not quite what I thought it was going to do. Did it drop troops off? Yeah, it did. Crap. Jesus. I got vicious. That's fine, that's fine. Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to call the episode to an end just there, and I'm going to put together the bits and pieces for this fighter 
because frankly it looks like I'm missing quite a few components and I'll probably have to manufacture some of them in the advanced constructor downstairs so thank you for watching um, and next time we will have a brand new fighter to play with okay catch you next time